That's what I like about She just him. eat. She does nothing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the lens will be there. It's gonna be under his name in the future. Ours. Ours, middle yeah. Yeah. name. So he worked in Singapore for like four to five years, and you were able to save almost up, five. He was able to save up some money. So when he came here to India, he has something like seven digits mm. of money. So he was like a millionaire. But Namaste and kamusta, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, intro. Yeah. I'm becoming the good vlogger. So today we will be doing another sit down video where we answer some of your concern or question. So for today's video, our topic is all about our source of income. Source of income. Yeah, so someone asked about this. The comment is from Nancy Adai. She said, Hello Payet Sumit, dyan na ba kayo titira sa India? Are you going to live here in India? And what is um, your source of income other than vlogging? First of all, nice name. I like Nancy name. <laughs> Her favorite name, Nancy. <laughs> there is one doggy here, so every oh, yeah. afternoon. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Why? Uh, she I might mean... get offended. <laughs> It's and, fine. And the owner also watches our vlog, right? Yeah. So their dog dog's name is Nancy. So uh -huh. whenever we pass by, we call her Nancy, Nancy. And my ex girlfriend was Nancy. Sumit, is it Nancy? Huh? Nancy? Is it Nancy? Huh? Nancy? Is it Nancy? Huh? Nancy? What are you thinking? It's all good. Even Nancy. This is Nancy. What? Nancy. <laughs> You're looking for your ex, huh? Oh. Huh? Do you feel jealous? Yeah, so it's okay, we can talk about Nancy. Okay, nice name. <laughs> the first question was, you're planning to uh, yeah. stay in India. Um, no. No, never. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, because we have other plans yes. to move uh, somewhere where we feel uh, comfortable and happy I mean both of us for me I feel comfortable here and for her also she feel comfortable here mm -hmm. but our plan was not to stay in India ever so we want to live in Australia or Canada so we chose these two countries and now we are just waiting for the results of our visa application and once we get the results we will move actually we already have our australian visa but the thing is our first option is really canada so mm. we are still trying for canada but then if god does not wants want, us to yeah, go to canada then we will just go our last australia. option is australia because we still have the visa for australia yes and <laughs> that's how i work plan a plan b <laughs> yeah but we first applied for australia because at first he didn't really want to go to canada at first right yeah at yeah. first because of the cold weather and all because i like beach and uh, sunny weather yes. and rainy season and all so australia would be much better place to be for me mm -hmm. for us Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I go alone. Yeah, so but, Canada was no no for me yeah, always. But uh, then later on when we got the Australian visa and the borders were still closed. So our family and our relatives they started uh, pushing us for uh, Canada. Canada. And then we applied for Canada and thank God we chose a place in Canada where the there is not much snow and uh, the weather won't be that much cold. Yes, that's so right. that that is so yes. it's a coastal <laughs> coastal area. Huh? Yes, I'm already telling you everything, guys. What? Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, you can be <laughs> okay. I was okay. thinking of like telling it later on, but yeah, okay, I will just beep that. Okay. Yeah. So that's the yeah. answer. Yes. For the first question. So for the second. Uh, um, question my answer is that uh, our source source of main. income main source of income is uh, lands we get um, money from our lands okay so this is like for his family not just me and to meet okay for, yeah, because for, for me for and to meet 
for me and Sumit, our main source of income is really vlogging right now. Vlogging right now. Because but he's not working. I yeah. am not working. So everything So is both of us, we are not working um, at present. Mm -hmm. But we used to work and we used to work hard. And in the future, once we move to Canada, Australia, mm -hmm. we will be working hard again. So for now, we are just uh, taking some rest and we are enjoying family time and living in a village and traveling around India, which we always enjoy. Mm -hmm. So our main source of income is from our lands. We have 21 lands and uh, the income we get is more, 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 more than enough what we need to live in nicely in India, you know. So it's for me, dad and my brother. Yes. That's so right. it's more, more than enough. It's, it's a lot, you know. Actually, Sumit already told me before a lot of times. And even I, heard, I, I even heard this from Nandi too. Like even if the three of them doesn't work, like Nandi, Sumit, Daddy or even me, if I don't work, we will still be able to survive. Nicely. <laughs> Nicely, guys. Mag-hayahay pa rin ang buhay kahit wala kaming trabaho dahil nakakuha kami ng pera sa lands nila. Yeah. But we are not like that kind of people. We always want to work. Mm -hmm. We we feel, um, how to feel? Like, we feel no purpose of life when you're not working. Yes, so it's better right. to work and, you know, enjoy your life while getting money from lands and getting money from... Uh, your company mm -hmm. so you can enjoy more and your life will be purposeful <laughs> yes so this is actually what I like about Sumit and his family maybe but yeah. but um, majority is from Sumit like he is a very bus uh, business minded person and then he is good at managing our finances and actually everything he is good at managing yeah that's what I like about him she just him. eat she does nothing oh YouTube <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> so yeah. So that was the answer of the second question, and I just want to add on some because some of you guys were asking why I'm not vlogging anymore on my channel yes. because for now we just want to concentrate on this channel, Face Diary. Mm -hmm. So for me, I can start vlogging anytime, but um, as you guys know that we were. Uh, traveling around India and sometimes you know it's very hard to make two separate videos from mm -hmm. two separate YouTubers yes. for the same content at the same time at the same time so <laughs> it's very hard and it's not good you know for the viewers yeah I also don't like it because <clears throat> usually when he vlogs he'll be talking to his camera and I'll be talking to my camera and like there is no connection between us like no yeah. interaction anymore because he'll be speaking in his language and then I'll be speaking in my language yeah. But I will try to make some English vlogs on my channel and especially cooking vlogs. Yes. That's what I'm planning to do. So watch out for that, guys. Yeah. So guys, ang aming main source of income is talagang galing sa lupa nila. So bali ang ginagawa nila, meron silang 21 lands. We don't really have to do anything anymore. They no. just give the land to like those people who wants to... Do uh, the farming. Do the farming. So they take And take their share. Yeah, so parang pinak like on lease. On lease, yeah. yeah we we give them on lease. Yung tinatuan ko dito nang nakaraang araw, isa sila sa nagsasaka ng lupain nila sumit. So bali sila yung gumagawa ng mga gawain tapos kapag once they are done harvesting and selling the crops mm -hmm. and everything, doon na nila binibigay yung pera sa family nila sumit. So ayun. Like wheat, wheat grains, and rice, yeah. sugarcane. And actually, guys, yung kita nila is sobrang okay it's, na ka siya. It's, it's really good. It's yeah. really good here, you know. Yes. Especially in our area. Yeah. Because some places in Punjab, the farming is not that good. But in this area, it's really good. So you get money from your lands and they still have the property. So in the future, if they yeah. want to sell it, then the... We still have pro some properties. The, yeah, the properties Even here, there. in our town. Yeah. And in Gurdaspur, in Mohali. And we are planning to buy one more, hopefully. So this is uh, the advantage of having your own land. Hindi naman lahat ng Indiano, so I won't be saying that all of the Indians are like business-minded person and they are good at handling things. Because in my country, when you say Indians, we think that um, all Indians are good at business. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. It depends then, guys. Kasi dito sa yung mga kapit bahay namin dito, meron kami mga kapit bahay na halos wala na silang lupa. 
kasi na ibenta na nila. Pero kaila sumit kasi, you don't really sell lands that much. Right? No, we don't sell lands. Yeah, so parang mm. it is already a big thing when mom and dad sold like a piece of land just to pay for our tuition fee. No, but that was property. A, a property pala. A yeah. property. Lands like where we do our farming. Uh, where we do farming. Okay, so, you, so that's called lands. The other there other a, lands yeah, there is or other that, yeah anything is that comes under property. Like we can buy today and we can sell tomorrow. But for lands, people sell sell lands also when they have to, but for us we don't want to yes. sell our lands and even um, we talked about this mm -hmm. I mean dad Nandi and me but we agreed on that we won't ever we'll sell, ever sell lands. lands because you know lands are always there they are not gonna fly they will be always there they will be giving us something at least yeah. to you know uh, live our life so, and what Sumit always tells me is that our future is already actually settled by mom yeah. and dad. So we don't really have to think about our future anymore. Yeah. We should only think about what is now. But then for me personally, because um, I grew up, <laughs> like my mom bringing me up with like a mindset that I should be responsible with my own finances and yeah. expenses. So for me, I still want to work mm. for my future. Yeah. Like the lands will be there, it's gonna be under his name in the future. Ours. Ours, Mito. Yeah. Yeah. Name. <laughs> yeah, even mom got some lands under her name. Ah, okay. Kasi yung so ibang... It's equal, not only guys will get. Ah, okay. So yung ibang lupa, mga tatlong lupa na sa pangalan niya na, yung tatlong lupa na sa pangalan ng kuya niya, tapos yung the rest na sa magulang niya pa rin. Hindi na namin talaga kailangan isipin pa yung aming future. Nasettle na siya, pero we still wanna work on our future. And we are not planning to do the uh, partitioning or something yes. from, for our lands. Yes. No. Okay, now, so we talk about their main source of income as a family. Now we will be talking about may, our main source of income, me and Sumi. Yeah. So we get mostly all of our um, income. income from YouTube, like 100% for now. Yeah. YouTube. But, but then before, before we got married, Sumi also worked in Singapore. Pasensya po sa mga tahol-tahol ng aso. <laughs> it's very noisy. He wants to be part of the <laughs> yeah, vlog. vlog. So he worked in Singapore for like 4 to 5 years and you were able to save Almost up Almost five. 5. Yeah, he was able to save up some money. So when he came here to India, he has something like 7 digits mm. of money. So he was like a millionaire but by that, during that time, right? Maybe like 2 million. Meron uh, siyang uh, dalawang... <laughs> <laughs> We're not bragging guys, okay? That was purely his hard work. Yeah, he did not get it from anything or from someone. It was all of his hard work. He yeah. used to work 16 hours in a day last time. Yeah. He handles three shops. So he came every day thing. So he came back to India. Meron siyang ipon, guys. Dalawang million down. Because I was tired of that life. Yes. So and Sobrang tipid ni Sumit sa pera. I won't say that you are stingy, but you are really good at handling your money. You're very tight with your hard-earned money. Yeah. Which is good because in my family, sa amin guys, kami habang may pera, gastos ng gastos. Pero pag kay Sumit, habang may pera, tinatago niya, tas konti lang ang gastos. We used to date. Whenever we date in Singapore, we just go to KFC. Mm. That's our date, right? Yeah. You know, uh, even now we are here in India, we can even we can go out and spend mm -hmm. um, hundred thousand in a day. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. We can right now, mm -hmm. but why? Yes. Why? <laughs> it's just a waste waste of money, waste of um, uh, resources. You know. That's true. I so agree. just save that money, and when you are going for vacation or something. Yeah, spend that money there. Yeah, like, actually enjoy guys, more. even we go for holiday, me and Sumit, we are like always in a tight budget. Yeah. And I, we don't really buy expensive things. As you you know guys, yung aking purse na tig 250, okay na ako sa tig 250 na purse. And then we, when we were in Poland, we seldom buy clothes for ourselves. Like mm. we've been using the same clothes for like four to four years straight and we don't really care. Yeah. And, and how I manage our uh, finances? Mm. Like, 
let's say I want to buy this new phone. Uh, yes, this okay. Is good. This is good. So my last phone uh, was uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah. So which cost around uh, 80,000 right now in India mm -hmm. or maybe less than that. I just don't want to uh, compare that to any anything. And then I want to buy this so it will cost me 100,000. Yes. Okay. So I I always sell the old one first. Okay. Let's say I sold my um, iPhone 11 Pro Max for 52,000 right and then I bought this so I only added um, around 50,000 mm. otherwise I I need to spend around 100k yeah that's right so I saved and I um, how to say like recycled Yes, our money true. but the thing is you should also um, take care of your gadget that's why me and Sumit we are very very careful yeah, with our gadget careful. like one scratch will make the price go like really really low yeah. so we take care of our gadget so that's how I manage our yeah. uh, finances so like, I always sell the old yes. items first <laughs> And then buy the new ones. Yeah, yun yung pinaka gusto ko kaysa mid. Because here in India, like taking loan is very, very um, popular. Like everybody but it's does expensive. that. expensive. Yeah. So, ayung kung meron kayo may kita mga tao dito sa India, sa lugar namin, meron silang iPhone, meron silang bagong sasakyan, meron silang bagong bahay. Pero guys, meron silang loan na binabayaran. For me and Sumit, the good thing is that. We are not paying any anything. Wala kaming utang. We don't have any debt. We are not debts. paying any EMIs monthly. Yeah. We don't have any debt. Yes. And we are free from any burden. Yes. Like financial burden on us. So that's the really good thing. Yeah. We, we don't really have to stress ourselves to yes. pay back the money or pay back something which we took from somebody. No, no, no. Mostly you will think they are very, very rich, but then. Yeah. Actually, they don't have liquid money to pay for that, whatever they want. Yeah. So, what I, I like about us is that we have our personal savings. We don't want to offend anybody. Yeah, I know I mean, everybody is different, you yes. know. You have your own differences and we have our own. Yeah. Like, we um, believe in something else, yes, you believe correct. in something else. Yes. So, our mentality is not the same. So, mm. we don't want to offend anybody, but that's how we live our life. That's how we manage our finances. Yes. And we are not saying that we are the best in it, yeah. but we always try to uh, do something good. You yeah. know, like don't waste our money and don't waste our time for anything which is not going to give us yes. um, any. How to say? Sakoon. In Punjabi, we say sakoon. Like. Um, like gives Profit. you satisfaction. satisfaction. Oh yeah, satisfaction. Oh my god, it's a normal <laughs> word. Uh. Yeah, what my point is, I'm just very happy that whatever we earn from YouTube, me and Sumit, we it, it straight goes to our um, savings, savings and personal use. Like whatever we want, we can just spend it. We don't have to really pay yung mga ganyan ganyan na utang utang at yun yung ano lang point ko lang na masaya ako na wala kami utang ni Sumi and, and that, by the way wait wait mm -hmm. I just wanna uh, also tell you guys na meron din akong savings na bago kami kinasal later they will think that all of the savings came from you so I also had my own no. savings when we got married so no. meron din akong ipon and then nagtrabaho din naman we ako sa wala yeah a lot of things there yeah. yung sasakyan na ginagamit nila mami ayun hati kami dyan ni Sumi yung malaking TV dati so I won because most of our viewers are wondering how come we are able to travel, how come like we have these. But that was very guys. cheap, you know, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, it is really cheap. Fifty five thousand for three. You go weeks. and watch oh. our old videos, like the travel videos, like uh, two or three weeks ago. Yes. Yeah, just go and watch that videos and those videos and you will understand that we didn't you know really go to five star hotels and mm, no, you know we never. were eating like in the f uh, fine dining restaurants or something no you don't need to do that when you are traveling around like this like for yes. one month straight you have to think about your um, expenses also so, so we we you know we were on tight budget but not that tight also so we, actually, we enjoy it. me and Sumit we do have money but then we don't really 
like to show much. Yeah, um, we don't want to show off. Yeah, nakuha niya yung sab magulang niya. Sila mami daddy din ano? Meron, may kaya sila pero hindi mo may kita na ano? Parang may kaya sila simply sila manamit. Hindi sa lumalabas no. Nothing. We are fine with anything. We are not maate. Simple lang. Yes, that's. We are not maate. We, we are fine with anything. Uh, our whole family is like that. Even your family is like that. Yes. Everybody is just like normal living creatures. <laughs> so so I, I just wanted to say one thing that thank you so much guys. Because of you guys money. we are able to earn this much money and live our life nicely. And yeah. um, we always try to do something good for others from what whatever we earn from YouTube. So we are not saying that we do it uh, like full time. But, but we right always now. try our best. We always try our best because she's going for studies, and you know uh, we still have to think about um, flying from here, which is very costly right now. Uh, booking the air ticket is like 150k mm -hmm. just to go from here to Canada or Australia. The same. It's yeah. very expensive right now, and we have to think about that also. And she will be studying, so we have to pay the fee. And then you know, um, renting a house, you know, all of the those things we really have to think right now. So that's how we manage our fina yes. finances. So we don't just go and yeah. and then later on you got nothing in your pocket anymore, and you beg for money from other people or you don't have any money to eat, uh, buy food or something. We don't want to be like that, you know. Yes, guys. So that is our secret. Kung paano kami nakaka-survive and kung paano kami nakakaipon ng pera. Right? Yung, I, as for me personally, I don't really like it. Like borrowing money or taking loans just to show that I have this or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but we have seen many people doing that, you know, and we feel very bad for them. Like very pity. Just buy like the, maybe what you can afford yeah. so that you don't really have to pay don't monthly things don't anymore. look at other people and burn your house guys yes. that's my suggestion to you like don't see other people buying iPhone and you don't have any money in your pocket to buy food and you want to buy iPhone because the other person bought iPhone no yeah. don't do that we actually started iPhone is not going to give you life yes that's true but before this we actually started from the bottom like hindi yeah. yung mamahal yung murang murang chipipay na phone lang and then slowly slowly, um, slowly mm -hmm. because we also work, so whenever we work, we try to save some money, especially when we want to buy something. something. We save, 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 and then that's when we buy. Yeah. And then in the future, if we want to upgrade, we sell the old one and then, and we then buy the new one. But work, work, work first, save, 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 and then upgrade, right? Yeah. We just don't close our eyes and keep spending, you know. Yeah, no, that's we are not like that. Secret. We always open our eyes wide and then calculate everything before. Uh, going to buy anything yeah and other thing is that me and Sumit we are not really um, choosy when it comes to work I actually do any types of work I can be a nanny I can be a babysitter I can be a cleaner I don't mind as long as I'm earning dollars or earning any good amount good of money good amount from mm, a good thing not mm. doing something bad yeah. yeah so for me also I can be a cook I can be a server I can be a manager yeah. I don't mind anything yeah, so yung nasa, nung habang nasa Poland kami, while we were studying, Sumit used to work first in a fruit factory, right? Yeah. Me, me and Sumit, we used to work in a fruit factory. Fruit factory. In and like a minus 15 degrees freezer inside that. Because their language is uh, Polish, yes. right? And we speak English language only. Mm -hmm. And that was the problem for us to get a job in front office. So the first job we got there was uh, in the factory and we I, just I it, right? yeah we just took it you know we started working and we worked for three months almost yeah three, yeah. Three, four months somewhere there. and then we were able to save some money to come back to India and go to yes. Philippines yeah just because of working in a factory you should go back and check our videos you know we went to Philippines uh, in 2018 yes. yeah so imagine if we did not uh, our <laughs> our babies wants to be part of the blog. Yeah. Jackie, enough!
Okay, yeah. So imagine if we did not grab that opportunity, that job during that time, I think we would um, Wouldn't finish, be able to, yeah. and finish our savings. Yeah. Imagine that because we were paying for our apartment and the apartment was really costly. Yeah. They were charging us in euros, but we were in 2000 Poland. something, yeah. 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 So I just want to say that, uh, you know, be normal, be what you are and don't uh, look at other people and try to do the same no yes. just be yourself mm -hmm. that's what going to help you forever yes actually guys when i first met sumit i did not know that he is like um, a middle class like you are from a middle class family or para sa akin mayaman talaga sila eh because he sh he's very simple like he doesn't really show that he has money mm -hmm. i only heard it from my colleagues that oh sumit Sumit in his family in India. Back in India, owns a lot of lands and all that. Mm. He he has a big house. Yeah, but because of the time he was very simple, he doesn't show that he has a lot of money. I'm still the same, simple. And me too. I'm also the same. We are still the same. Like yeah, we, yeah. This is what I learned from Sumit. Like be, I mean not be stingy, but. <laughs> You should know how to manage yeah, don't, well. Yeah, don't just close your eyes and, and keep spending no. your money. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is what I learned from Sumit, and this is what I want him to teach to our future because kids. Too. Why we work? Why we are going here and there for money, right? To earn some good money, so we can live our life nicely and we can secure life, good life or good future for our children. Yes. So that's what i'm talking about you know i have seen many people struggling financially mm -hmm. and still want to uh, show off yes. you know while not having money yeah. but that's not how the life works mm -hmm. just be in the reality so you really have to work hard on it like money won't come to you like quick and fast yeah. you have to work hard maybe sometimes you have to suffer but then you have to think of those hard work you put in it like to earn this amount of money mm. and like i don't know protect it <laughs> and you know <laughs> mon explain. money won't stay with you forever it, sometimes you have it sometimes there is no money mm -hmm. you know it it's always like ups and downs yeah that is why when you have the money that you is should the time. be respectful to yeah, the money yeah yeah don't just keep spending yeah. it because there will be a time that you won't have money anymore and then and you will understand and yeah and you will be happy that you saved some or something yeah like as a backup plan or something yeah that's why it's good to have plan a plan b plan c <laughs> this guy in here yeah so i so i i i i oh we <laughs> we, we hope that we answered all of your questions mm -hmm. and feel free to comment below yes. if you have any more questions and we are happy to answer always we are so energetic to answer your questions <laughs> we hope that we gave you some ideas on how to save some money okay? yeah or if you want personal classes then please email us <laughs> it will be skyping you guys how to save money yeah how to become a rich like sumit singh yeah. <laughs> rich <laughs> Ayan guys. So um, we started from the bottom, ha? Huh? Okay, hindi naman yung agad na nasa taas kami. Yeah, I still remember I was a trainee. Yes, he started. And I used to, you know, oh. <laughs> I used to um, take the drinks, yeah. serve the drinks in the uh, Shaw Theatres in he, Singapore. And he was already a hacendero during that time. Yeah. And he, he was doing his job. Yeah. And then. I still remember I used to work 16 hours, Some, sometimes me. more than that, you know. Some, I still remember I used to open I, the shop oh. in the morning <laughs> close it. and the, close the shop at night, <laughs> like 11 p.m. at yeah. night. Same for me. And I still remember and every day was the same. I mean, that's how I, uh, I was able to save up some cash. Uh -huh some good money because i was working overtime and you know uh, they pay good amount yes in i Singapore think i won't overtime. i won't have savings if i didn't learn it from sumi and she used to work like 14 to 16 hours Honestly. a day also mm -hmm. and i'm earning like very very less yeah she was she was earning 
like half of what I was earning. Yeah, ito ang laki ng sweldo niya sa akin sobrang konti. Yeah. Because your one was work permit and my one was S pass. Yes. Yeah, so that's why. So it's okay. Don't feel jealous of anybody, guys. <laughs> I'm just because, happy to share with you our humble beginning. Yeah, and then we started from there. We struggled a lot. We chose a uh, good path, mm -hmm. and we met good people, mm -hmm. and that's how we became what we are today. Yes. And I, I forgot to ask you one question because people may may wonder why you didn't work while we are here. Why I didn't work? Yeah, because you can work right here. Now? Yeah, right now. Because why well, you are not working? Because of COVID, first of all. Yes. And and we didn't. We were really not sure that we will stay here long. Yeah, that's that's the reason. Well, first reason was COVID. Second reason was uh, my field. My field is hospitality industry, mm -hmm. and in during COVID, the hospitality tourism industry struggled a lot and I didn't want to go in again and you know uh, do the I don't know and um, dirty job or something and no. because of me too guys because if he leaves me at home I'll be like yeah mad. Stressed. <laughs> and, I will go mad and the third reason the main I mean third and the main reason was um, to concentrate on mm. our YouTube channel actually guys the money we are earning from YouTube is like um, um, the salary of two person working eight hours job a day, right? In India. Yeah. In India. Here in India, ha? Yeah. So we are really, really thankful that we are not like YouTube guys. Because the basic salary in India is not that much, you know. Yes. It's very less. Like they pay you 15,000 or no, 20,000 rupees. So, um, yeah. I started working in Caventers in Chandigarh. I worked there for one month and my my salary was only 12,000 and I used to do 8 hour shift 6 days a week. Yeah. It's so only it's, 12, it's not good. Maybe working in Philippines is much better than India. Yeah. But in India, if you are a doctor, if you are a teacher, mm -hmm. or if you are IT professional, or software engineer, or something like that, then uh, you, you can earn a lot. Yeah, but there are times that we get lucky from you too. Yeah. That we experience 6 digits. Very, very seldom. That, that was once. <laughs> yeah, once or twice, I think. Is once, it once, once. Just once lang pala, guys. Just Sorry. <laughs> but we are happy. When, when we moved to India. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we moved to India. We are the happy. second month, we got that much. Experience. But that, that was only once. But when you converted to Philippine Peso, it's already five digits. It's only five digits. Uh, yeah. So we are really thankful to you guys for supporting us this much and, you know, uh, giving your valuable time. Yes to watch our videos and uh, comment to our videos, like our videos and share with your friends and families. I, I always notice that people are sharing our videos. Yeah. So thank you so much guys. Thank you so much. It means a lot to us. Okay, I think the vlog is already very, very long. So guys, you know the vlog natin for today. Sana nagustuhan nyo. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one and we hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.